You limit new installations to either the rich or the subsidized. What you're doing is wrong. You should encourage, not discourage. Yet in today's agenda, it states under estimated costs, there are no costs associated with this decision. How can that be true? Discrepancy between the public record, intelligent people, massive amounts of information, and this NEM narrow-minded three proposal from a small group of lobbyists and... Please don't approve this, appro this proposed decision. Please reject M3. Would you please call the roll? Yes. 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 The vote is 5-0. The consent agenda items have been approved. If this hasn't happened in your neighborhood yet, it is the blueprint for other utility companies to misbehave like my drunk uncle. Up to this point, solar has been a good deal for many people because you can expect to recuperate your costs in seven to 10 years. And it's been this way because you can get one-to-one -one ratios with the utility companies, meaning you could send one unit of energy to the utility companies so that later you could withdraw that one unit of energy. Net metering is an electricity billing mechanism that allows consumers who generate some or all of their own electricity to use the electricity anytime instead of when it is generated. This effectively makes the utility company act as a proxy battery for your consumption that one-to-one -one ratio is no more as of april 2023 cpuc the california public utilities commission is reducing credits by lowering the net metering rate by 75 percent or greater this means that for every four units you deliver to the utility companies they give you back just one unit there are a few reasons for that and the first claim is that power is delivered at uneven times so your power usage goes from here in the morning it goes down for the afternoon and then it goes up for the evening however your power creation from solar just goes upwards until midday and then goes downwards so this trend is opposite from this trend the utility companies can't handle that spike in power despite being around for decades and despite having millions on solar already california lost 249,000 people in 2021 california energy crisis 2001 california energy crisis 2004 another reason is to give low-income folks the ability to purchase solar for homes that they don't own Bruh. california's homeowner rate is 17 percent below the national average the homeownership rate in california was 54 percent in 2022 and of course this is for the environment it's critical to reduce our climate goals sustainable manner and it can meet its climate and i think it's a responsible and forward-looking decision we all care about climate change for us to meet our greenhouse gas goals system to truly get us to a zero greenhouse gas footprint part of climate change policy to clean renewable electrons california's greenhouse gas emissions we are making this change because of our commitment to addressing climate change everything is for the environment this is greenwashing. And for those who don't know the term, it is misleading the public about being environmentally responsible when in fact having solar penalties, reducing solar incentives, reducing demand for solar. This is about as misleading as the plastic parts on my ex. Wow. Whether or not there's a 75% drop in the rate at which customers are compensated for the excess electricity they export to the grid, if it's 75% or something less, that's a contested fact. We are reducing payments to customers for their exports. So what's going to happen now is that instead of paying back your solar system in 10 years with NEM2, with NEM3, you're looking at 20 plus years. That is assuming your grid prices don't raise 10% a year like they are now. So this might take 25 years to repay that means that your battery may no longer work because the 10-year warranty is over and that the solar panels would have ran out of the 25 years and basically you'll have to start from scratch all over again this is essentially like no return on investment and akin to investing in crypto it doesn't even take into account the financing of said solar system, which can run into thousands for interest payments. With a solar cost of 15,000, your estimated interest throughout the years would be $2,424. So how do you get around this mess? And there's no simple answer. You'll just have to 
pay more to get out of this mess by overproducing a lot of energy. With that one to four ratio, you will need an abundance of energy. And that might be a good thing. You might have kids that bother you all day. You might want to have that cyber truck you've always wanted. You might want that electric stove you're forced to buy when gas stoves are banned. In the end, when you get a overly powered solar system, that is your solar system to consume. You might rely less on natural gas. You might rely less on oil, rely less on the utility company. This might be the incentive for you to get off the grid. And that leads me to the next piece of the puzzle. You will need a battery. With NEM 2.0, the utility company essentially acted as your battery. You send the electric to them. You retrieve it when you need the power with a one to one ratio. That is no longer the case with NEM 3. There is a one to four ratio and it's not in your favor. And the only way to get it back to that one to one ratio is yourself. A battery. I'm not saying that the utility companies can't be trusted. I'm just saying I trust them as much as my wife's driving. <coughs> Will people still be buying solar? Very likely, yes, and for a while. It takes a bit of time before information can spread. A buyer might not care about the economics because the federal incentive has gone up compared to previous years, and the barrier to entry is lower. There's no shortage of salesmen willing to lie to you and tell you what you want to hear because you may be emotionally invested and they know this pretty much like a crafty gold digger. Hey, if you're willing to get solar to save the planet at the expense of your children, your spouse and your pets, who am I to judge? You can still buy solar, go totally off grid and stick it to the utility companies. But this does require a bit of capital planning and I'll go over this in a future video. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, all that good YouTube stuff. See you in the next one. Take care.